Hello, in this video, you will learn how you can solve this CAPTCHA in Puppeter using CAPSolver. CAPSolver is an AI powered CAPTCHA solving tool that solves the CAPTCHA quite fast and is also very affordable. In this tutorial, we'll be using the Python version of Puppeter, which is Pipeter. But if you're using the Node.js version, even then the concept will be the same. During the course of this tutorial, we'll take four steps in order to solve this CAPTCHA. First, we'll install the required dependency in Python. And second, we'll find the side key of this CAPTCHA. And third, we'll set up CAP solver, add funds to it and get the API key. And then next, we will write the code which will solve the CAPTCHA. So let's first get started by installing the dependency. For this project, we will need two dependency. First is Pipeter, which is a Python port of Puppeter. And next is a CAP solver Python SDK, which will help us in integrating CAP solver into a script. So let's install them. By running this command, I also create a main.py file which will contain the code of this tutorial. Next, we need to get the side key of the CAPTCHA. The side key is a unique identifier that is given by Google that uniquely identifies each CAPTCHA. In order to solve this CAPTCHA, we need to send the side key to CAP solver, which will then solve the CAPTCHA using that side key. To find the side key, open your DevTools by pressing Ctrl Shift I and search for data dash side key. You will find a key like this. Just copy it and store it in a text file. Next, we need to set up CAP Solver. We need to create an account in CAP Solver, add funds to it. So visit CAP Solver and click Start Now and sign up into CAP Solver. Once you've signed up for CAP Solver, you will see a dashboard like this. The balance will be zero. You need to add funds to it. Click on the Add Funds button and add funds to it using PayPal, cryptocurrency, or whichever payment method you like. The minimum amount that you need to enter is $6 and taxes will also be applicable on that. Once you've added the funds, the balance will be updated and you need to copy the API key for later use. Now comes the fun part in which we'll finally solve the CAPTCHA. In order to solve the CAPTCHA, we'll take three simple steps. First, we'll be visiting this website using Puppeter. Second, we'll be sending the CAPTCHA details to CAP Solver and we'll get back a response code that contains the solution for the CAPTCHA. Third, we'll set the solution of the CAPTCHA on the forum and submit it. And once you've submitted the CAPTCHA, we'll see a success screen like this. I've already done the code, so let's go through it. So as told, in the first step, we are launching Puppeter. Next, what we're doing is we're instantiating a recapture V2 task with, with the API key. And we're using the site key and then we're creating a task passing in the current page URL and the site key. After that, we'll get a result. And from that result, we're getting the G capture response. We are also logging it to the console so that we can see it. And once we have get back the response, we'll set back on the G capture response element and submit the form. Now we are also in the input statement so that the puppet doesn't automatically get crossed. It pauses so we can see the success screen. So let's replace your API key with the CAP solver key. So let's run Python main.py. The CAP is getting solved. And as you can see, we are seeing the success screen. We can also see in the console that the capture solving code has been locked. So this is how we solve capture in Puppeter using cap solver. The general process of solving capture is very simple. We visit our capture page and then we create a capture solving task passing in the current page here and the site key. And once we have the solution to the capture, we'll set it on the respective element and the sum in the forum after which a capture will be solved. An important thing to note here is that for the sake of this tutorial, we are solving the V2 CAPTCHA. In practice, most probably, your bots are going to be facing the V3 CAPTCHA by Google or the fun CAPTCHA of Cloudflare. Now, these are strong CAPTCHAs and what they really do is they check that the IP and the user agent which was used to solve the CAPTCHA is it the same as the one that was submitted to it. In case it is different, 
they just keep on giving you capture again and again so to solve this situation what you really need to do is you need to make sure the ip and the user agent that is used to solve the captcha is the same as the one that is used to submit the captcha you need to purchase a good residential proxy from a provider like oxilab asox or bright data once you purchase the proxy you need to launch for better with the proxy like this here will come the proxy details then you need to also pass in the proxy details to cap solver by using this code you we'll also need to make sure that the user agent that used to solve the captcha is the same as the one submitting it so you need to use puppeter's user agent so you can copy this code so you need to paste this code which will make sure that the cap solver is using the user agent which is used by the browser so that was all for it thank you very much for watching this tutorial